Alright, hello, this is uh, another Axis Analysis video. Um, hopefully you guys, if you do watch these, aren't getting tired of them. And this is another one. Uh, as I said, I was going to be doing a series on mods for this game. And this is one on a much more accomplished and older mod than the last one that I did, which was the uh, Starship Troopers mod. This is the Gizmotron user mod for uh, Axis Analyze. And... This is basically the first of the uh, really big mods, uh, and the first one that really moved on to uh, moddb.com, where I will have this linked in the uh, video description. But this this mod is um is produced by uh, Gizmotron, and um, as the name would imply. It's it's well behind his his current capabilities. Uh, I can say that I've been in touch with the guy for quite a long time, and he has been working on a different mod, Uncommon Valid mod, which is even more ambitious than this one was. And uh, so th this mod is, is uh, it shows its age. It really does. Uh, and so if you're looking through this mod and you're thinking, oh well. I don't agree with that choice. Or that design seems a little unbalanced. Well, th this was released in 2012, so things have changed. <laughs> um, anyway, though, this mod focuses mainly on the World War II aspect um, and custom games. I think it does modify the campaign some. But since we've been doing the campaign for pretty much all the other models that we've covered um, on this channel so far. We're actually going to go ahead and we're going to look at the World War II mode for this game. Uh, for this mod, sorry. And, uh, let's see, who are we going to play as? I don't need to play the tutorial. Let's see. first thing that you will notice is uh, we have way more generals to choose from here. Uh, it varies by country. Yeah, I don't know who I'm going to play as. Uh, some are definitely better than others. Modal here seems to get extra abilities. This guy too. Who? Um. I really just can't make up my mind, can I? I think we'll go as Japan because you know you don't really see that many World War II games where you can play as Japan. And uh, if I remember correctly, they were fleshed out quite a bit in this mod, so let's do that. You also start in a pretty nice position on the map, if I remember correctly. Um, if it's not changed or anything on. Question then is what general do we go as? I am tempted to go for Kobayashi. Just because, you know, I don't know if I would be playing as a uh, war criminal afterwards. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's go for the guy that, uh, according to this um, bio here, supposedly killed 3 million Chinese citizens. Um, so we can abuse the chemical weapons ability and bonsai charge at the same time. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Here we go. 
and yeah, this is I think the same uh, World War II map as in vanilla. Although no, no, it's been changed a little bit because uh, China here has been reinforced. We have extra uh, Chinese. Hmm, Chinese armies. I think we will still go for it. Let's go for South. Oh, oh, first. Maybe the Philippines. Decisions, decisions. Let's just go for the Philippines. Let's do that. And you know what? Yeah, let's bring in some of our units from uh, China there. And. Whew. What tech should we go for? I feel like Japan gets some really strong. Um, Really strong infantry options. We're going to get the two, what look like to be uh, the two best infantry techs. We purchased those. But as you can see, they've changed the color. Uh, Germany is now black, and Russia is now a bright red. But the map doesn't look like any territories have been, you know, switching hands. Anyway, let's go for this, and we'll quick resolve. We'll choose the next turn. But I promise we will get to some gameplay in the game here. Matter of fact, we can uh, we can watch this game. How about that? Yeah, nobody really uh, does this. I've kind of been feeling Our about making will some, overwhelm the Germans. some videos you where you're just watching the AI fight, um, which sounds boring, but you get a feel for what the uh, AI does um, in this game. Now this mod uses uh, AI that's pretty similar to the um, vanilla games. It's a little bit more aggressive, but... Uh, You'll also notice something here, uh, unique to this mod, that's the Industrial HQ. And this is because the um, is watching. this mod adds a bunch of new uh, Division HQ types. Like here you see the SS mechanized. And so there's not enough room to put all the um, resource and tech buildings in the uh, core HQ. So Our enemies all they're moved to the Industrial HQ, and that, that's... It's one neat thing about the economy for this game. But let's, let's see what the AI does. Here's one of the new units from the game. From this mod I made. The SS Mechanized Cavalry Regiment. It has a lot of half-tracks. This is actually one of the things I wish they gave to the U.S. faction in this mod, because that would really be a fitting uh, sort of a cavalry group full of air tracks. Infantry combat is far more lethal because the machine guns get a bonus versus infantry, although it looks like the uh, MG42 is way better than the uh, Degtyarov machine gun here. The DT. Actually, they probably could have won that. The thing about to turn uh, damage numbers on, just so people can feel for how much uh, damage. guys are doing. Oh, this is pretty boring. Let's move here. See, the half tracks are doing some fair damage versus the building. Looks like their base damage has increased. 
Oh, that might be because they're um, SS units. Uh, most of the time, the SS units in this game are above. Or the normal ones. The Kalein B. Yep, there goes a. Uh, there goes the Russian Industrial HQ. As you can see, the uh, bunkers are doing bonus damage. I'm actually going to go in and edit something real quick, uh, make sure that we are getting the absolute best quality out of this game. <laughs> out of this 2004 RTS. <sighs> Here we see that there is one element that the AI has not improved in, and that is uh, sending their HQ trucks way out into enemy territory, completely unsupported, just to uh, scout. Very smart behavior from the Russian AI. I think we're going to cut this off at right the uh, 10 minute mark here, if nothing interesting has happened. Research any cool techs. Uh, improved rifles, 40% attack speed, so basically kind of like a RAND tech for uh, the Russians. I guess that's to simulate the SVT 40. What have the Germans researched? Nothing. Okay. The Fatherland supports the brave soldiers. Well, they're researching special forces now. I think that's the same as vanilla. <laughs> it's, it's very stupid AI. Uh, yeah. And see now the Russian AI will not get refunded for that. This AI battle did not turn out to be particularly interesting. But hey, that's the AI for you. And um, German attack into Belarus in this game, Russia never stands a chance. Alright, well, it is our turn again, and we are going to go for the Dutch East Indies because they are just such, I mean, it is such a uh, rich. Province. That, that plus seven a turn really adds up. And we have the weakest economy right now, so we are going to step up here. Do a tech again. Let's see. Um, well, we'll go ahead and we will get self sealing fuel tanks. Um, of course, you need that in order to have a uh, really effective airstrikes at all. And we are going to fight this one in-game. They do have one tech vehicle camouflage, but they're not going to be able to use it because um, they only have inventory. So let's go. Alright, amphibious invasion is always fun. We are going to land way over here. And as you can see, we actually have quite a few options. Imperial Guards and Amphibious Armor units. For now, we're just going to set up the HP trials. I think we'll be able to get away with landing. Unopposed. 
And if not, well, I think we should be able to recover. I think we could be. I think. Speed things up a little bit. Just until we get landed. Oh, and what do you know? We're uh, landing right at an enemy strong point. That is just perfect. Let's see if we can get. To oh, wow, there's an oil refinery here, too. So, we might be in for it here. Alright, well there's no enemy bunkers around our uh, HQ, other than the two here. We're going to be set. Marshal, so your forces cause a battle that matters. We're going to go for a... Uh, We'll go for a regular infantry HQ, just to see what's new inside there, and then uh, later on we'll go for the guards HQ, just to see what new units the guards get. Yeah, we'll, we'll just queue that up right now. You have been entrusted with a greater responsibility. And already the enemy has arrived, and they've got some kangaroos. Those are basically uh, armored personnel carriers. Already um, set up to attack us, so let's see what we can produce. And... I'm actually going to go into the files and uh, we'll fix this. This, this is a um, bug where this is the same regiment that's produced from the battleship. If we leave it in this menu, the AI might produce it, thinking that uh, they can produce it from the tent. But if you do that, you see... Well, you have to wait. It, it won't let you, because this is the uh, deployed by C unit, so it would bug out. Um, I'll go into the files and fix that for the next video. But obviously, it doesn't affect this one, because... Uh, we're not the AI, so we're not going to try and do that. I think we'll go for a conscript infantry regiment. That's Aye. interesting. For the Japanese. And a grenade launcher Aye. one. Let's see what that is. We have a spammy infantry force. On the other hand, we'll go for heavy mortars without even needing an artillery. Artillery, uh, Destroy the enemy from within. Conscripts. These guys have the Banzai infantry model. But no Banzai attack. They do have very high morale. Let's go ahead and seize that refinery with these. Grenade launchers. That'll be these mortars, basically. Uh, it says they're 81 millimeter, but I think that's supposed to simulate, um, you know, the uh, little knee mortars that the uh, Japanese have. You know, four. Of them. Do all four of them? Yes. Look at that. Uh, not a very long range. And they don't seem to benefit from the mortar tech. Oh, we don't have that. We will show them no mercy. Well, all right, let's go. We'll organize these guys. And send them in here. For this city, we'll send in some of the Imperial Guards. Let's see how they fare. Then we're going to send out a uh, recon fleet. Find the enemy HQ. In the meantime, we'll uh, speed things up. Oh, 
think it's really cool that uh, there's these refineries in the picture. Unfortunately, you can still sell them just like in the base game. Kind of like a scorched earth tactic. Right like a man who yeah, there's the fights. MHQ under Admiral Ramsey. Here's our Imperial Guards. You see the bayonet attack. And uh, more powerful grenades and rifles. Basically, just, you know, elite infantry. The Emperor's honor must be protected. Marshal your forces for the battle that matters. I'm going to try and send my forces around. Uh, start capturing some of these cities. Make some money. You have been entrusted with a greater responsibility. They do like those APC regiments. Yeah, the Valentine Infantry Tank, that's this thing here. It's very strong. Yeah, I was wrong about them not being able to produce uh, vehicles. It looks like they can produce those from their infantry. Destroy the enemy from within. Let's get some uh, anti tank no mercy. to deal with those. And some more grenade launchers. Just for fun. Oh, and we get a uh, conscription bonus applied to our industrial HQ. That's very nice. The Emperor's honor must be protected. wasn't so hard. And we uh, took those guys out. I think we'll win here too. But in the meantime, let's uh, get cool set up. I think we'll try out the uh, amphibious armor regiment. Tanks. So yeah, in this mod you can get um, vehicles and stuff like uh, tanks, you know, light tanks, from the infantry HQs. It's very it definitely changes strategy. Oh, that's right, I was going to make some of the... Oh, I need the rifle arm grenades tank for that. So unfortunately, I can't actually attach these guys to the Imperial Guards division because they are Imperial Guards.
marshal your forces for the battle Sorry, that you matters. That's probably a waste. You have been entrusted with a great responsibility. Let's go ahead and let's make those uh, heavy mortars. Destroy the enemy from within. We will show them no mercy. Search rifle grenades so that we can. Oh, we can even do heavy infantry. Let's go for. Um... Imperial Guard. Which actually has a fuel cost. It's, it's interesting. Ah, uh, it's because they come with the tank. Get rocket mortars. Uh, so. And we'll get the heavy anti tank. We're holding them off really easily down here. We'll get the infantry assault regiment as well. Alright, that should be enough. We'll send these guys down south to capture the city. This will be our assault force. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't notice them attacking down here. And they're doing very well. Well, how about we use our chemical weapons on them? Because they're not, uh, they're not allowed to be doing well. I guess we can't attach this to uh, our HQ. Well, that's unfortunate. These guys are basically uh, dead then. Well, I guess we're going to use the uh, special op. That's unfortunate. Anyway, let's use our chemical weapons ability. It was 1,300. Oh, jeez. Made these guys route immediately. Even though they didn't suffer any damage. The infantry assault cancelled out the chemical weapons ability. guys set as our reserve force and let's go in with our force here and relieve them. Marshal your forces for the battle Maybe that get some matters. Maybe troopers to help too. And he'll get improved mortars and improved means I take them. Basically, send everyone to the tank. Yeah, these guys will be passive. Hopefully, they'll entrench. Go 
the rifle grenade entry seem to be very good. Yeah, they get a damage bonus. Again, versus damage. Unfortunately, the game seems to, uh... I guess they use the same, um... Same file for the American Assault. So... Their rifle attack is still called the M1 Grand. Not entirely... You have been entrusted with a greater responsibility. What else do we have? There's the tank on <laughs> The AT rifle has been nerfed. It's pretty terrible now. Rocket mortars. That's these guys. They don't seem to have any uh, area of effect, they just do morale damage. Very interesting. Let's get our reserves here to attack. And we'll send out our carrier to bomb these units. Get supply chain set up. They don't show up, uh, regiment. Yeah, it's basically doing the same like, radiation damage effect to him. I guess it's just a small oversight in the code when they were using the uh, atomic bomb ability as a base. It's a nice uh, damage board. We have to remember to use a special up in order to supply this guy. Because otherwise he doesn't supply. This guy's trying to get away from us. Let's shut that down. We'll send a bomber to take this out too. Marshal, your forces cause a battle that ready. matters. Let's see if there's anything new for the uh, paratrooper tent. And 
will speed things up a little bit. This guy is still taking damage from that scorched earth. There we go, it finally we're off. Send these guys. These are gonna be my assault force to break through all these fortifications they have. Finally capture uh, this last part of the base. Or we could just go around. Probably just use paratroopers to get over and drop down here. Let's see what you have been entrusted with a great toy is this mod is the airborne. Destroy the enemy from within. We will show them no mercy. Uh, not much. Looks like they get some sort of let's see. Put the bonsai infantry deck they uh Looks like we can produce something here, but unfortunately the name file wasn't done. We'll send these guys in. Hopefully they won't uh, kill themselves. I hope they just retreat automatically. For now, let's produce this. Alright, looks like it's just a uh, heavy anti-tank. It's a shame it can't be teardropped. That'd be really cool. Balance reasons or uh, some implementation problem. Making uh, pretty decent progress on those bunkers. The Emperor's honor must be protected. Setting up that uh, airborne attack I was talking about, and we will also attack these guys. Use the see them use their explosive suicide attack. One cool thing is um, these are actually attacking infantry. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm probably gonna win. Set. Make, it's probably going to be our final assault here. Looks like the paratroopers took the city without really needing to fight.
And there we go, we won, uh, <laughs> it took three minutes, but, um, we won that battle. Went it pretty uh, spectacularly, unfortunately, the AI on the uh, British side is, again, a little too passive. And, uh, got really caught up producing those APC regiments, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh, we did way better than they did. be the last mission, last attack that we do for this, uh, this episode. I'll try to do more. I think I'll go into the files and I'll just fix a few things. Like, uh, you know, that Imperial Guards. That definitely should have been attachable. But, uh, all in all, though, this is a very, um, very fun mod. Again, it's a little dated, but I um, highly recommend people try it out. It's not very big file-wise, at least not what would be considered big nowadays. And um, I think you'll get a lot out of it if you like the base game. So yeah. that'll be all. Catch you guys next time.